As I said the other day, let our work do the talking and let not our speech do the talking. I have laid a great amount of stress on technology. That's not because I have interest in technology, because I genuinely believe that technology can be a source of inclusion. But we have to also ensure that technology does not become a source of exclusion. We are about to launch into e-filing for the Supreme Court. Now let me tell all the members of the bar that the reason why we want e-filing is not to make some you know, hi-fi uh, modern method of filing in the Supreme Court. We are conscious of the fact that everybody who is in the Supreme Court is not at the tip of the pyramid. You have among the best who earn the highest fees, but you also have the massive base, the pyramid, the base of the pyramid, where lawyers earn small fees for the purpose of their daily existence. We are conscious of that. So we are also conscious of the fact that many lawyers may not have access to a good computer or access to the internet. So one of my missions has also been to ensure that those who do not have access to technology, technology must reach out to the members of the bar, just as it must reach out to citizens. It's not the other way around. So there should be no exclusion on the ground of uh, technology. So all in all, I must tell you that this is really going to be a collaborative effort between the bar and the bench. I could go on for another hour about what plans we have in future in store. But as I said the other day, let our work do the talking and let not our speech do the talking. So I promise you that we'll work together uh, and I expect the same promise from you that we'll expect collaboration between each other, uh, we'll listen to each other, we'll talk to each other regularly, we'll be engaged in a dialogue with each other, in the great belief and understanding that we are really part of one institution and we represent a common mission to deliver justice to our common citizens.